Hello, I'm Pieter van Luffelen. And I am Caroline van Kerkhoven, and we are the creators of... The Unknown Soldier. Um, it's an idea that came from uh, Caroline. Yeah, and actually at, uh, there was a call of the FAF to make uh, one-minute films about World War I with the theme of peace. And uh, the idea came very quickly to make something about uh, foreign um, soldiers present in our um, countries. And also the fact that it was uh, children or youngsters from Brussels remembering their uh, great-grandfather. Yeah. And that was very cool there but the producer said well this is not an idea that you can tell in one minute you have to do something bigger, bigger. With it. and that's where I came aboard and so we developed it from there on together into this 12 minute uh, animation film it was a lot of research also in the, in the beginning about World War one anecdotes photos, uh, photos also uh, we really wanted to um, to start from the reality because it's important for us to tell this story, to tell this page of history. Maybe we can tell that we have a, a lot of versions of the scenario. Yeah. <laughs> it took like six years to come to the final version of the animatic. It, it can be a bumpy road where you don't get the money you ask and you have to reapply with a new version, which because we are forced to rethink and rewrite what we had, we came to a better film, mm -hmm. uh, a better scenario each time uh, until we reached a version that we think is, uh, is that we are happy with. Yeah, maybe we can also tell that we some people helped us. Yeah, um, and that was also because we had we took this time. We had to take this time. We had people uh, reading the scenario and giving feedback, and every time it made us think about. What are we telling? Why are we telling it? Um, we uh, we had also some people who are like more living <laughs> the things we uh, the children live uh, due to their uh, background or yeah. uh, his family history, and they really give us very useful feedback. Um, mm -hmm. I think it was um, not possible to make the film without their feedback. No. No. Um, also, design. Yeah, so uh, the first, yeah, I first thought to do the designs myself and I was pretty happy with the result. Uh, but then we came to a point where, where we really wanted to, to purify what we had into something new and better. And so we, find, so we found a, a young artist named Karima El Achimi, who did the, the designs of the children. Uh, and from, from the start, we saw like, these are the children, these are the children yeah. of our film. She, she really did it. I, I don't think we give any feedback. She just like, I, I, she she designed it like Fatou yeah. and we saw, yeah, this is Fatou. This is Fatou, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's same same with Younes or, yeah. or any other of the characters. So she really immediately took felt it right. It. She felt it. What was important for us is that the film really anchors in reality, even if it's complete, if it is complete fiction. Um, we didn't only search for photos of World War I, but also we wanted uh, the voices of children really from Brussels, which have this sensibility of uh, um, Dutch, French, um, with who are Brussels. It was a really fun job to search for these children. I, I really went to a lot of schools and, and organizations just to have little tests with the children. And we decided together who got the part, but I didn't see, I didn't have a picture of those children. And then when we chose, and we, I saw those children, they were exactly, they matched the designs exactly as, as a light by magic. Yeah, so we had a scenario, a scenario an animatic, designs, designs, which we were happy with. Yeah and voices uh, so we came we, uh, we came to we had the material to to start confidently uh with the production but biggest obstacle of the film was workload so many uh, backgrounds to be done so many characters to be made everything had to be animated 
So I'm very happy with the great team we have here in Belgium and also in Holland uh, to make this film happen. Mm -hmm. It was Anikey. Anikey, Studio Anikey. In, yeah. And Soil in Brussels. And Soil in Brussels. Yeah. One of the last steps in the uh, production was the music. Music. We, want, we knew from the beginning we wanted music in our film. Uh, something I never did before as a director. Uh, so we, we came to work with uh, Ruben, uh, which was a very fun uh, way of working, it very much dialogue yeah. between a composer and uh, directors. Uh, we also had quite some versions of the music. Uh, Maybe it's our characteristic <laughs> to have a lot of versions. <laughs> no, it and was really fun and I, I think it was like echoing the way we work together. Uh, proposing things and, yeah. and ping pong. And yeah, the music was the final layer that made the film complete.